Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another doll accessory unboxing. Today we have a find from every young millennial's favorite store. And that would be Ikea. <laughs> yes, Ikea has made doll furniture. This is not a mistake. It is not a drill. They have made what seems to be high quality plastic doll furniture. So <laughs> when I saw these on Instagram, I immediately kind of like checked my local Ikea because hello, these are awesome. And I wanted to check and see if they were actually good quality or not because online from like other resellers, they were going for like $35, $40. And I was like, oh, that's ridiculous. But then I looked at Ikea and they were like relatively new and still available, but <laughs> selling for 20. So I was like, you know what, for $20, let's take a look. So I went and picked up the Uset bedroom and living room place up. In addition to these cute little plushies, are so cute. I think it's a hippo. It's a stylized hippo and a stylized elephant because it is so cute. And these were like a dollar fifty, and they were just so cute. And I was like, you know what? My dolls deserve some plushies too. But we are going to get rid of their ridiculous tag tails here in a bit. But so I want to compare these to some full size Barbies. So that way we can kind of determine which dolls are going to work with these accessories. Because they are more designed for the doll shelf that Ikea also has. So we'll see. So I want to start off with the Uset bedroom first, or the living room because look at this like it is super cute it's got a it's got a little throw pillow it's got a little chair it's got a side table it's got a rug and it has a shelf unit but the biggest most impressive part of this is the couch now i have seen this couch online already it has a slip cover do you know what that means it means we can dye this pink couch to any color we want. Or very easily make patterns because it's just square and rectangular. And it's very cute. So here is the UPC and more importantly, the Ikea item number. I did have to go through like the whole like thing to try and find the pieces that I needed. So as you can see, we get one shelving unit, one chair, one table, one couch, one slip cover, one rug, and one pillow. And again, this was $20. That's not a horrible price. You know, Barbie charges me, you know, $15 for a little furniture pack that's just all the same molds they've been using in dream houses for years. But, whoa. okay. So... We've got a good box. I'm gonna take this one out. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, it's not hollow in the back? You can use this as a room divider? Oh my gosh. Okay. So what we're gonna do is show you this piece first. So I have these little like Mickey Mouse uh, caramel apples that I got from the Disney I Love You Forever dolls. It fits perfectly in there. That is so cute. Or perhaps some rainbow high shoes. Because who doesn't love to display their favorite shoes? Very cute. A perfect size for our heels to be on display. Now, I got two of these sets. So, if you see in my in my new post going forward that I have multiples of these, I did buy multiples. 
Okay, so this is a good size rug. And that is very trippy on video. Um, but that is surprisingly plush. It's like felt, but it's not like a cheap felt. So it has, it must have a slightly microfiber layer on top. It does have a little spot that I'm going to try to get off. No, my OCD. I have no nails right now either. Okay, I got it. Okay. So, that's a very cool rug. Again, it was folded up, so you're going to have to press it a little bit. But, that's a cool rug. It's got, you know, a midge diameter. Or not diameter. Uh, gosh. Hypotenuse? Maybe? Oh, God. It's going to bother me. Um, but very cool. And we have our table. This is decently sturdy plastic. I would say vintage Barbie level plastic on this. It's ABS plastic, so not bad. Very cool. And we have our chair. Our chair is very shiny. It does have a little hole in it. I don't know why. Again, ABS plastic. If you guys can see that against the uh, thing. So, not bad. Very cool. I want to see how doll sits in them. Come here, Midge. You are our show model. She is uh, very excited to model for IKEA. She is from the Midwest. They were all from the Nordic States. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, yes. Midge is looking uh, very comfortable there on her slightly pusset chair. And she looks super cute. Um, it is going to be a little short for them to have their legs completely bent. So you are going to wind up doing more of like the, uh, the lounger legs, I like to call them. But still very fun. And... Midge can always just sit on the shelving unit like a true queen. And then our last two pieces are going to go together. I'm going to get the box out of the way now. So we can rearrange it to show you the full majesty that is our new doll living room. So here is our couch. It looks very cute. It's a little puffier than I was expecting. A little less shape, like actually like shapeable. It does have this little like pillow. Again, this is gonna be something we're gonna have to cut the tag off of. Um, polyester fibers. But this is pretty good. This is a canvas material. So I'm not mad at the construction of this. Like this is very much like pillows are made out of this kind of material, the pillow covers. Um, but let's see what our under couch looks like. So this is our under couch. It's not bad. It's a little bit higher than the chair as Midge can demonstrate. Midge can sit against our little like arm and lounge like a particularly fabulous lady. She is ready to go. 
is ready and able. And so this is what's inside the slip cover. So we have a little bit of padding on here for construction purposes, but look at these seams. Like that's great, like they're surged. I'm okay with this. Um, and the strap is just Velcro, one side Velcro and one side um, felt. So it's not gonna be too bad. But again, these are essentially dyeable. Like you can pretty easily dye all of this fabric and it's all the same kind of fabric, which I love. So you can fully work that. I do wish it was slightly more structured, but it's really cute. Like I love that this has a slip cover. Like I would have been happy if they just gave us the couch. The fact that they made it look like an actual couch to me is going the extra mile. Like, I think we would have all been happy with just, like, the shelf units getting released. <laughs> but it's very cute. And again, as easy as just popping that Velcro back together. And we just put her, like, right there. And stick her back in the same position. And bada boom. And she's got her little throw pillow or we can put the little uh, stuffed hippo on there a little stuffed elephant for her very cute the throw pillow is going to have to be uh, we're gonna trim that tag off to really make it lay anywhere I think but that is a few quick snips right there our little throw pillow is ready to be embraced and it's super cute like I, I love that for her it's super fun like the whole thing just looks very much like Barbie's first apartment kind of vibes you know we can just kind of angle things around it's very easy to style this. You know, you've got a flat surface here, flat surface there. Your chair is really cute. We can put our little pillow on our chair also. So, a very, very good quality, honestly, I think, for, like, Barbie furniture that's not made by Mattel. But again, it is made by Ikea. So, you know, take that at what you will. So this was one I had to have and I had to have duplicates of because I do want to see how the fabric dies. But that's going to be, I'm just going to do that. I might show the results on my Insta. But again, I'm very bad about putting things on my Instagram. If you guys are ever like, why hasn't he posted? If you follow me on Insta, uh, same handle, if you will. Um, but I may do that because I'm intrigued to see how well that canvas is going to die. Cause you could also technically paint it with like fabric paint if you wanted to just do like designs. So for 20 bucks, I think that is great. Cause you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces technically. So that's like. $2.50 a piece or like $2.75 a piece which is great because Mattel would charge us $3 for just the table probably but I think the standout piece of this is actually how heavy the shelving unit is because I was not expecting that like this is almost as heavy as the couch so like you can set Barbies on top of it and it's not falling over because it is heavy like, it's great. I'm really glad I have two of these now. These might become permanent additions to my closet. I don't know. Like, my display closet up here. But, very cool. So, let's do a little bit 
of rearranging. So we can talk about these little dolls. So these are just little stuffies. Um, let's see if they have their names on them or not. Okay. So Sot Barnschluck. Sot Barnschluck. I think. There are their UPCs. Very cute. They're little four inches ones. And it's Ikea again. And I'm just going to trim these little tags off. I use my nipper. You can use scissors. Just like that, and then we have our cute little elephant, our elefante. He's got a little tail. Very cute. I like that for him. And then we've got our little hippo. He's very cute. Zot the barns look. Again, same UPC. Very cute. And then we're just going to do the same thing. That's what we did last time. Okay. And There we go. He's very cute. I just a little hippo right there, keeping Midge company. So our next one that we're going to talk about is the other doll furniture set that they released. There are multiple rooms in the doll house that they have. I'm hoping there are some more who set Usit. I'm guessing Usit. Usit. Uh, it's Swedish. Usit. Probably Usit. I wish they had pronunciation guides. Um, here are here is the UPC and the IKEA item number for the bedroom. It's very cute. It's blue, which is nice. Uh, it is an expanding bed. I'm intrigued to see how well that's going to work. So without further ado, let's see. So in there, we get. A chair, a table, the expanding bed, the cabinet, the sheet, the blanket, the mattress, the rug, and a stuffed animal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces again. So just over like $2 a piece. Or just under $2 a piece. Over. Yeah, over. Okay. So let's look at this first. So here is our cabinet. It's very cute. Um, as you can see, it's almost the same size as this cabinet right here. It does have a little opening that we can use. And there are legit, there's a legitimate hanger rod in there and shelves. Again, here is our most common Barbie hanger. We're going to close that in and see if it works. That works. Can close all the way. That means our, our clothes are going to fit in there. Just on these basic fashion pack hangers. That's great. We've got room for shoes and things down there. That is awesome. Let's see. Here is our table. A little bit bigger than our end table that we had, the little green one. Let me show y'all. So, different molds. This one had the straight legs, this one has more of like a cur curved, like conical leg. Okay, so this is the 
PP plastic, which is, oh, I can't remember what the acronym stands for, but it's not our ABS. So those are going to deteriorate at different levels. Oops, sorry. And this is ABS plastic. So it's gonna be a little bit sturdier. I like that, very cute. Here's our little chair. So this is definitely not a Barbie chair, even though it's the same size. This is much more of a Kelly chair or Chelsea chair, choo choo chair. Uh, let's see. Now, don't mind my my headless Barbie extra mini. It's the closest one I have on hand. Um, <laughs> so here are my extra minis that I use because they're articulated for my Chelsea dolls. Um, it's the perfect size for a Chelsea doll. Like, it's not too big, it's not too little. She can be scooted into the table, and her legs go under the table. So, it's great. I would say that's a better table and chair combo than we get from Barbie for big dolls. So, we've got a rug again i'm thinking these are the same size but this one is actually square so let's see okay yes as you can see these are different sized rugs the living room the bedroom one is a square so not bad, just different. I'm gonna pull these onto this one because our last one that we have, the last piece that's coming out of the box is the bed. So let's see what our bed looks like. Okay. So here is our little dino. Now we do have a little thread that's got him sewed to the pillow. It's not, it's not horrible, it's not the end of the world. We just cut that little thread and cut him off. And look at his little arms. He's got a big head and little arms. Very cute. He's about the same size as our hippo, uh, at least in the head. So not a crazy small plush or crazy large plush. Um, and then we've got one that is keeping everything together. We just snip that little thread right there. Okay, so here is what I would assume is our mattress maybe so it does expand to 11 and a half inches um, here's our pillow it's very cute it doesn't have a cover but it's very doable where'd you get a thing there we go um, again uh, we'll just have to cut the little tag off to make it look nice. Okay, so here's our pillow. Right there. And we've got our blanket. That can go like this. So that's pretty good. So let's look at how this works. So we can compress it down to this size. And then you just like refold your, uh, your little mattress bottom part. to make it fit. And I underestimated how much I needed to fold, but that's okay. 
and you just go like that. And then here's our little Chelsea, assuming that much for her head. So it's a little big for toddler beds, but probably about the perfect size for like articulated um, skipper dolls. And then the real question will be how well does this fit our Barbies? So because we're in life in the dream house, a little visit from Miss Raquel. So Raquel has got her toes pointed and her body fully extended and she fits perfectly in this bed. And she is on a regular sized body, an original made to move. So I think this thing is banging. As you can see, she is hanging out, ready to dazzle, ready to go, with Miss Midge in the background striking a pose. So, yes, I think these are worth the $20. The expanding bed is a little clunky, but I like how it's actually not flat. Like, there is a ridge for you to like fully have like a doll in there and the doll's not just gonna roll out of the bed. You can just fold the little duvet up. Um, and it's super cute. Like I like the fact that it expands or shrinks because that is a really cool bed. I would have loved to have seen them do a double bed, which would have been really cool, but this is still awesome. Like, and it's not pink, which I love that it's not pink. Not that I hate pink, we just get everything in pink when it comes to dolls. So the fact that this is in blue and like multicolors for the rug is awesome. So like, these are really well done, I think. Um, I didn't buy duplicates of the bedroom just because I, um, I wasn't feeling it too much at that time. And I probably won't buy a duplicate just because it's not as versatile as the couch. But I do really like the cabinet. The cabinet is my favorite piece of the bedroom set because it's like, it's not just a cabinet, it's a wardrobe. I do like the little table with the chair. Like, that's really cool. It is cool to see the appropriately sized things for Chelsea dolls. Like, that's nice. But other than that, this is a really cool set and I'm really excited that Ikea has done this. And I kinda hope that they do more. And I'm not gonna lie, I am gonna be watching for more of this from Ikea because there's a dining room that they could do and a bathroom that they could do still. And I'm kind of hoping they do it. Like these are very cool compared to what Mattel has been putting out lately, which is just kind of basic. So if you guys have questions on these, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.